everyone and welcome back to my channel so i have little athene here with me today and as part of my halloween kind of little mini series as it were i have decided to dress up as a witch And talk about some witchy facts that are maybe slightly more unknown to a lot of people and um, so yeah so this little girl's just having a little mooch about so anyway without any further ado I shall just get straight on with the video and thanks very much for watching okay so I've got my phone here um, to just sort of give me some notes and stuff so the first fact that I found was witches broomsticks are symbols of femininity so while the exact origin of witches riding broomsticks can't quite be pinned down, historians have identified the first known image of a woman on a broomstick in an illustration that was drawn in the margins of a 1451 edition of French poet Martin Lefranc's Le Champion des Dames. I don't know if I've pronounced that right, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> which basically uh, means the defender of ladies so that's interesting two women are pictured uh, one riding a stick and the other one riding a broom so that's obviously you know around Halloween time you do get these images of witches riding around or flying around on brooms and stuff so um, yeah it is thought that the broom was a symbol of female domes domesticity I think I pronounced that right, but the broom was also phallic, so riding on one was a symbol of female sexuality. And also just to say that the broom does represent the union of um, what I believe, <laughs> excuse her, what I believe as the male god and obviously the female goddess, and the pole representing the phallic of the god and the broom represents the female's genitalia as it were so uh yes yeah, so as i say that's quite interesting and i didn't kind of know all that i i just kind of knew what the broom represented and obviously when you use a broom uh before doing a ritual or casting the spell you clean around the circle with a broom so yeah um anyway <laughs> so the second fact was one of the earliest records of a witch is in the Bible. You might not associate witches with the Bible, but the book of Samuel contains what is believed to be one of the earliest records of a witch. The entry was likely written between 931 BC and 721 BC. According to the History Channel, it tells the story of when King Saul sought the witch of Endor to summon the dead prophet Samuel's spirit to help him defeat the Philistine army. The witch roused Samuel, who then prophesied the death of Saul and his sons. The next day, according to the Bible, Saul's sons died in battle and Saul committed suicide. So, um... Yeah, I didn't know that. That was one fact that I didn't know. So that was really interesting to read that. I mean, to be honest, I should probably read more of the Bible. I know I'm a witch, but um, I should probably read more because the stories, uh, they are really, really good. Um, and I did enjoy listening to Bible stories when I was a kid. So um, to me, the way I see the Bible, it's kind of like Greek mythology. It's, you know, full of uh, stories and they're moralistic stories as well this because i'm only going to do sort of three brief facts sort of thing about witches this is my third one so the last one is up to eighty thousand suspected witches were put to death in europe which related hysteria broke out in europe between the years of 1500 and 1660 and an unimaginable number of innocent people were put to death an estimated 80,000 suspected witches died during those years, either while being tested and tried or punished and executed. Germany executed the most witches and Ireland executed the least. I found that surprising in a way, but um, 
but yeah i mean it's kind of it just makes me think of the salem witch trials and i might do that as a separate video but um that's very interesting as well but yeah apparently there were no witches burnt in the uk they weren't burnt alive maybe in other parts of europe as i say but uh, over here they were hanged obviously they were you know tried had all these crazy um, tests done like the ducking stool they said um if what was it i was trying to remember how it goes i think it's if a witch um sinks she's innocent and if she floats she's a witch or something like that anyway which i find really quite you know it's just ridiculous by today's standards anyway i hope I got that the right way around but yeah there was all sorts of things they used to um you know you've heard of the witch finder general who used to look at witches you know bodies to see whether they had a teat that the devil or a demon or whatever could suckle from and it's just as i say it's just so ridiculous but yeah so they're my sort of top three witchy facts and uh, this little girl's getting fidgety so yeah so that's just like a little halloweeny kind of video with this little girl so i'm going to put her back and let her go back to sleep but anyway if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and when you do subscribe hit that bell button so you get notifications of my latest videos and if you have any questions or comments just pop them in the comment section below and i'll do my best to answer them but for now from myself and athene it is goodbye we'll see you in my next video thanks very much for watching